Hello and welcome to the Proyaku Report, Volume 1, Episode 48, Tanishige's Value. I'm Michael Westbay, your host. I'd like to invite you to take a look at this article from page 7 of the November 21st, 2013 issue of Nikon Sports. See the laughing Motonobu Tanishige below the headline declaring that he is taking a 6,000 man yen pay cut? Granted, he is getting an extra one oku yen in salary for taking over as Chunichi's manager for the next four years, that being on top of his duties behind the plate. Now, under that headline is a proclamation that OCI GM has reduced the Dragon's renewed salary obligation by over 8 Oku Yen. With the team dropping into B class for the first time in forever, OCI GM came in and started slashing salaries all over. Asakura takes the biggest percentage hit, dropping 60% from 4,500 mon to 1,800 mon yen. Kawakami, who was actually given his walking papers before Ochi was named the general manager, returns at half his 2013 salary of 6,000 mon. Rookie pitcher Okada, on the other hand, went from a measly 580 mon yen to 3,000 mon yen, a 417% increase. And just 12 others managed a bit of an increase over the 2013 salaries. And I would like to also note that about one-fourth of the eight oku yen that Ochi cut comes from the release of Ibata, making an offer to cut a player's salary who is earning over one oku yen by over 40% without the player's approval is essentially giving the player the right to free agency. Junichi wanted to cut Ibata's salary by well over 40%, but could not get Ibata to play along, so they released him instead. Uh, last I heard, I think the Giants are interested in signing him. Anyway, I digress. It's not so much salaries that I want to be talking about this week, as it is the Tanishige signing as manager. After Tanishige signed, according to the GG Press, Tanishige said, quote, As a catcher, I was a factor in the team's failure to win. Unquote. That's not really the impression that I had. So, is that really true? Let's take a look at some numbers, shall we? The first thing that I took a look at was how often Tanishige played this past season. 130 games out of 144 in 2013 is up there for recent seasons, just slightly below last year's 134 games. He did come in as a pinch hitter 16 times in this past season, a great deal more frequently than in 2012 when he only pitched hit five times. Battling some pains in 2011, he pinched hit 11 times then. Otherwise, he really hasn't been used much as a pinch hitter. He's been the Chunichi main catcher since he went there from Yokohama. So, looking at Tanishige's catching in 2013, he started at catcher in 108 games, came in to catch in 14 more for a total of 122 games. And of the 108 games that he started, he was in there the whole time, that is a complete game, for 82 of them. As with his games played, all categories are slightly down from 2012, but higher than they were the three years before that, 2009 to 2011. So, given just playing time, it looks like Tanishige has been pretty healthy 
all season long. But has his playing really harmed the team? To investigate that, let's take a look at the team's win-loss record over the past five years. All this really tells us is that Chunichi lost more games this year than in any of the previous four. But is Tanishige really responsible for this? Well, let's take a look at the Dragons' win-loss record when Tanishige started a game. It is clear that the Dragons did better when Tanishige started than when he didn't over the previous four seasons. However, their winning percentage does drop a little bit in 2013 for those games that Tanishige did start behind the plate. There may be something to this yet. How about when Tanishige caught a complete game? Of the 82 games that Tanishige was behind the plate the entire game, the Dragons actually go a game over 500, 40 and 39 with three ties. This is a big difference from the 13 games under 500 for his starts, or even the team finishing 13 games under 500 for the whole season. It's not the phenomenal 23 games over 500 that Tanishige has been averaging over the previous four seasons, but it is still doing a lot better than when other catchers come in behind the plate for the Dragons. So, was Tanishige really a factor for the team's failure to win? I'm going to have to say no. And if you argue that he was, then his contribution to the failure was significantly less than others' contribution. My main worry for Tanishige going forward is that he won't put himself in the lineup. This is what happened when Furuta took over as managing catcher for Yakult in 2006 and 2007. And like Tanishige, the team had a tendency to perform better with Furuta in the lineup daily than without. And with that, I submit to you this week's Pro Yaku Report. Thank you for joining me, and until next week, take care.